Today we are going to discuss about different types of, of databases. So first of all, let me clear one thing. Google Sheets and Excel Sheets are not databases. However, you can use them as databases, but they are absolutely free to use, but uh, they are not good for storing enormous amount of data, large data. You can only use them for personal use or tiny apps. If you have a medium size app or large app which is going to need a lot of server interactions and huge amounts of data then you rather choose a proper database. Now let's move on other major types of databases. There are two major types of databases relational databases and non-relational databases. So relational databases are basically SQL databases. SQL stands for structured query language. There are major players in the game from few decades. So relational databases are more mature as compared to non-relational databases. MS SQL Oracle database, MySQL, IBM DB2, Amazon Aurora, PostgreSQL, Amazon Relational Database Service, SAP HANA, IBM Infomex, MariaDB are examples of relation data, relational databases. They store data in a tabular form into rows and columns. They are more mature as compared to non-relational databases, but they store data in a certain schema. From these, for this video, I will choose MySQL because I only use it that and at the other hand non-relational databases store data in different forms for example if we take firebase it stores data in json tree which provides more optimization and more control over your data in terms of speed and functionality mysql is way better than firebase mysql is really fast but it needs manual coding so if you don't have a team or if you are looking for free lunch you should choose firebase because firebase has other services also they are offering them for free you can use authentication storage hosting real-time database fire store analytics and much more services for free they have a decent amount of quota once you exhaust it you eat up all of your monthly quota you can choose for paid plan if your app grows bigger than free quota you can choose to pay at the other hand if you are planning a big app you should buy a good hosting and choose mysql as your database but you are going to need a good hosting for that I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you did, hit the like button. Tell me about your views and comments. See you in next video. Till then, bye bye, take care and Allah Hafiz.